All right, I'm getting prepared to put my leather handle on. I was gonna go with a trot line, which works great. Just stick, glue it in a hole, wrap it around your handle all the way up, and glue it in the hole where your pieces join together, and then just continue it. But it got rough on the hands on my last one. It just kind of abrasive. So I decided to go with leather. I'm using up my weird scrap leather. The pieces I haven't been able to use for anything else. I like the rough edges. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch already cut. I have two that have already wet in the sink, and I'm stretching them to be tight around the handle. And this is just a piece of oak that I'm not using for anything, a reject piece, so I'll stretch it around that. And how I'm cutting these is just wrapping around the handle and marking the amount of leather I need. And on the other side, marking to where they'll be the same distance through. And I'm going to put all these edges down, stacked up on the handle, to help conceal the fact that the handle comes apart. If it has multiple seams, then the one seam will not be noticeable. You can see how nice that makes it for us. This piece has a cut in it. I just kind—I kind of like it, so that's what I'm going to use. Make it look old. Two things I'm going to do right now, folks. I'm going to go wet me some more leather and stretch it around this, and I'm also going to run in my sewing holes down along this leather. I'll do that on the floor though and all you do is just punch even distances through both layers. Doesn't take much. I took one of the wet pieces folks that I already punched the holes in I stuck some glue on it and I clamped it on. I've got another wet piece waiting this one does not have holes in it yet and this is this other piece that was wet and it has holes in it and this is just holding shape right now. I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to push this through with a short length of thread on it, starting at the bottom. When I have it through, I'm going to grab my tag in, I'm going to pull the needle back retaining that thread for the very first hole. Pull out twice the amount of line that you think you're going to need just to stitch up through here. And that's more than enough for me right here. I stuck the tag in in the curved needle and I used a lighter just to make a little ball here so this doesn't come off. Push your needle through your second hole, drop back, cause a loop, and put your curved needle through that loop. Pull it all the way in, retract your awl, and pull that thread tight. Then you want to make sure you shorten your line back up and repeat this process the whole length. This had a second to dry, hopefully enough. Did not cut my thread and tie a knot, folks. I'm continuing one line all the way up this section. Now for my third piece, and I'm going to make one piece all the way to the top, and I'm going to stop it right on this edge. I'm down to the last couple stitches, folks, and I'm not going to finish it just yet. I need to trim this down and notch this off so I can tie off my last stitch and nothing's going to be in the way.